I always say obesity is much more than what you see on the outside. It's an internal challenge. It's, it's demons that you fight that unless you're obese, you will not understand. I have experienced it. I lived it. Fighting against those demons every day to get out of bed. Sorry to say this like this, but people look at someone who's overweight, they say they're fat, they're lazy. That is, unfortunately, what society thinks of people. And it's unfortunate because a person that's obese, it goes way beyond what they weigh. It's battles within them and layers and layers of struggles that we might never understand. And sometimes they don't even understand. And that's why I want to help people so I can help them realize that no matter what you went through, you can shift this. My highest weight that I know of was 265 pounds when I actually decided to step on the scale. Because after a certain number, you don't even want to know. I kept telling myself, I want to change, I want to change. And that happened throughout a period of seven to eight years. If I changed the first year I decided I wanted to change, I wouldn't have been obese for eight years. There were comments like, you have such a beautiful face. And my parents were never easy. They were just like, you're fat. My mom would literally cry. She goes, you're so beautiful. Why are you doing this to yourself? So it was 265 and I went to a doctor and I had a 50, I believe it was like a 50.4% body fat. And it was from 265 all the way down to, well, 145 was the least. But a total of fat was 125 pounds. I lost a person. Never forget this. I went to church one day and I hadn't visited that church in a while. And this girl turned to me, she goes, when you were growing up in this church, my husband told me that you were one of the most beautiful girls here. And it made me feel like the ugliest girl there that day. And I think that was one of the wake up calls. So I made that video and I will never forget, May 31st. I did not wait till the first of the month and it was a Thursday night, 10 p.m. I said, this is the day I'm gonna change. I'm not gonna do this, I'm 25. I have two kids, I need to be healthy. I, I need to get my life back, you know. I was hiding myself at home. I wouldn't take my kids to the park. So my whole family suffered with me. It wasn't just me, it was actually kind of selfish for me to be living that life. So I made that video to remind myself, just like when we are angry and we say things that we regret later, it's the same thing when you want to change. You're so desperate, you say anything, but two days later you will forget. And you're just like, oh, it's not worth it. I made that video so I would remind myself why I'm not gonna give up, and I published it. My mom went crazy. She goes, you publish these things after the fact. If, she said, I will never forget, if you lose the weight, you'll show that video one day. Not now, I said, no, I did it, so I'll be ashamed, and people will literally watch me fail, so I'm gonna push myself. This is gonna be my motivation to say, okay, I cannot give up now. It's been three years. You know, you have to know what you want, and you have to go for it. And you have to remind yourself every day why you started. That's why I say, you know, make a video, take a picture, write down something and look at it every day. Because those days that are a little blurry, you're going to forget. Because at the end of the day, it's not the diet, it's not the training, it's what goes in your mind. And I want to be able to help people shift their train of thought and realize they can do it. It's just a matter of changing their mindset and believing. People have to realize that time's gonna go by anyway. But 10 years from now, I wanna say, wow, it was a good investment. I'm gonna get to 2020, right? So why don't you start today? It's gonna take time. It won't happen overnight. And people get frustrated because, oh, it's taking too long. It's life. It's going to take time and dedication and determination and willpower. So use time in your advantage. It's gonna be worth it.